Hey everybody, Ron Amadio here from Arch Technica, and I am coming to you from inside of the smartphone. Uh, this is Google Tango, a 3D sensing smartphone project. Uh, basically, they stuck a bunch of extra sensors on the back of a phone, and now I can see in, in three dimensions, uh, kind of. So what you're seeing right now is the, the output of the depth sensor. Uh, so right now I'm being bombarded with tons of little infrared lights which are bouncing off me and going back into a sensor on the phone and with that it can see in three dimensions. The question is once you have a phone that can see in three dimensions what do you do with this now? So uh, we're, we're gonna show off some of the stuff that this thing can do. Okay so this is a 3D scanner app which is definitely one of the coolest things here. So we're gonna scan the world in three dimensions. You can see it's not super fast and it's only gonna get slower as time goes on. It slowly scans everything in 3D and you'll be able to look at this model later and, and kind of virtually walk around it. Every Tango app kind of has the same problems. You can't see dark things uh, or things that are kind of reflective because remember it sends out an infrared beam and the infrared bounces off of something and comes back to the camera and if it's dark and absorbs infrared or shiny and reflects it too much like my refrigerator then Tango is just going to see it as invisible. Maybe. There we go. Kind of. So uh, unfortunately the first Tango device is not like really flagship hardware. It's a mid-range smartphone from Lenovo and it only has a Snapdragon 652, which is really slow. And apps like this that need a lot of power just bog down slowly over time as it gathers more and more data. But it's still really neat. And then we can hit pause and we can see the the lovely model that we made here. Alright, so this is a dominoes game and you can just kind of virtually stick dominoes on the floor. And then just kind of knock them over. Depending on how much of an artist you are, you can make a big crazy uh, domino thing. But this is neat, like you can get right up on the floor. See your dominoes. Ready? Oh. Okay. They're going. Okay, couple limitations about Tango. Number one, Apps like this that don't scan the environment beforehand don't really work if something gets in front of the camera. You can see it, it just sits up over top of everything. There are one or two apps that will do something called area learning where they have you scan the room before the game starts. Uh, and then you can do stuff like have real life objects occlude virtual objects. For the most part, most apps don't, don't deal with any of that. Okay, most apps on Tango all work pretty much the same way. Your phone is the camera, and there's kind of a targeting system in the center, and you you pretty much point the phone at stuff and click on it, and things happen in these games. This is basically Sim Tower, so it's asking me where I want my game area to be in the real world. Uh, so I'm just going to stick it somewhere on the floor here, um, and now it should stay there. Yeah, see? Load times are significant on all the games, uh, and you just kind of deal with it. Okay, so here's my tower. It's in the middle of my kitchen on the floor, and it, it'll kind of stay there in real life. You kind of work the camera, and you can zoom in on stuff. You know, the closer you get to something, uh, the more you will zoom in, which is kind of neat. You can see the little people run around here, and you just kind of build a, a tower. Sure. I want that. How do I? Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. This is fun. There's a bunch of shopping apps in Tango, and they'll let you virtually pick out objects and, and see what they would look like in your house. I need a wall I could stick this on. Okay, I'm going to stick a TV on this wall here. Um, let's see. Uh, go, go there. Okay. 
and you can kind of see what it looks like from different angles, but you know, basically it, it, it knows the scale of these objects and can show you what they would look like in the real world. And this is useful if you're picking out something that's too big for your wall and doesn't really fit anywhere. In terms of doing something actually useful, here we have a measuring tape app and you pretty much aim it at the side of an object and this little green line kind of determines the where the start of the ruler is going to be and it's real jumpy. Um, so let's do there and then we can move over and see what it thinks this table is. Okay, and it says this is three feet one inches. Is that correct? Nope. Off by an inch. It's not super accurate. Tango has all sorts of drift and weird problems. You can see from this angle, the point on the table that I picked, it, it doesn't stick to it, which is very strange. But this is neat. You can measure in, in like three dimensions and you can just keep adding, you can just keep adding measuring points 